Ah, uh, he's Mikus McGuire, can't Lee Johnson look? Alright everybody, welcome back to another match vlog, it's Sunderland versus Lincoln. Dean Germain for Lincoln, the ones we've got to keep an eye on is Whittaker, Scully and obviously the return of Chris McGuire. We're walking this one to the stadium, it's going to be a bit of a change. Like target on this video, 175 likes should easy smash that one. Uh, subscribe if you haven't, if you're new to this channel, it'd be much appreciated. Let's get into the, on the way to the stadium. And there, in the distance, is the stadium. Can't quite make, make it out in really. But there's the beacon there, and there's the stadium, and there's the new bridge, so we've got some distance to go. So everybody, these horrible orange lights, the lineup is Patterson, Winchester, Flanagan, Doyle, Serkin, Gooch, Neil, Embleton, Pritchard, Di uh, Diamonds in the starting lineup, and obviously Ross Stewart up top. Looks like quite a few in tonight. support. Not that bad considering it's Tuesday. Go on! Absolutely amazing. Clapton for the ladder. Passed away. Free charge tap this one. It's a long one in. Flicked out. Another call. can tell the game's got boring look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at corner lads! Who oh, scored that? Ah, oh, he's Chris McGuire, can't Lee Johnson look? Hello, McGuire scored. He just ran to Lee Johnson. Ref wants to be the centre of attention. There's no man over the lad. Oh, I swear. Is he going to get it? Set piece. Quick charge. He's going to whip this one in. Here he comes. Oh! Ball in. Oh! Chance. Oh! Time. And half just kicked off. Flanagan out of Doyle. We need Pritchard involved more. Pritchard with the ball in here. Nah, he's going to go back to Gooch. Gooch running at them. Oh. Hello? Oh. Corner. Oh. Oh, Floats on in, Diamond. Oh. Bag. Red corn and all. Ref couldn't wait to get that card out of his pocket yeah. quick enough. Probably he's wants a red card like. All these fans come to put Maguire off. As clinical as he used to be, it's gone in. Didn't celebrate. Wow, well, well, well. Nearly three. Nearly three. Someone's got a penalty. Let's 
Joe would take this penalty now. Just to get back into the game. Oh, he saved it! Yes! How are lads? Penalty saved and he put the rebound in. Richard. Oh, wait. Here he comes. Head it out. Ah, oh, missed, clogged. And now he comes. Lincoln on the break. Chris Maguire has just scored. 3 1. Patrick. Great everybody, I've just got back in from the stadium and it's finished Sunderland 1, Lincoln 3 and that was by far our worst performance of the season. They were piss poor, every single one of them, bar Ross Stewart. It's the only one who I can think can come out of that game with a little bit of credibility. Lyndon Gooch, obviously Lee Johnson's little favourite there, he calls him Gucci. He gets down the wing and he's got, I don't know, he sort of reverted back to the old Lyndon Gooch where in previous games he was putting some class balls in, he wasn't being greedy, he wasn't trying to beat the man 40 times before he delivered a ball in, And but today he was, and for me, I know Lee Johnson does like him and he probably likes his work rate because he does get around the pitch quite a lot and does put a good shift in, but he's got knee quality in my opinion, there's knee end product with Lyndon Gooch and I think now he should be rested and obviously if some play, if some if some of our players are not back with the COVID, I think now it is time to call the Accrington game off. That's just my opinion. Years probably, you know, I have a different an opinion. I did I did want these two games to go ahead. I was all up for that, but gone off the performance the way they put in, they looked, you know, knee urgency. They looked so tired. I think now looking at that performance against Lincoln, who were nineteenth, and not any disrespect to them because they were the better team today, miles better than they were organised. They defended well and they countered us and the counter worked really well. But for me, I think now it's time, uh, if, if, if they're not fit by Accrington, is to get this game called off and try and get some players fit. Look, look at Wigan, they've got so many games in hand on us now, five games in hand. And now uh, we've played two more games than Rotherham. So uh, it, it is a little bit of a catch up. I know Wigan have got to win the games and they're not points on the board, but oh, it's five fucking games, man. Today, the lads, in my opinion, I, I, Jack Diamond had a good 15, 15 minutes, I would say, and then he was, he was deplorable for me, and he got took off. He, he got took off early. He just he, he couldn't beat the man either. Like when he was coming down the wing, he, he did like like I say in the first fifteen minutes, put some good balls into the box. But other than that, he couldn't get past his man. But like I said, there was neither one who would come out with credibility apart from Stewart. Winchester, why the hell would he, he tack the man out? When you know you know you're going to get sent off if you make this tackle, and you know it's going to be a penalty. So nine times out of ten, he's going to put that penalty away, especially with someone of, of Chris McGuire's ability. So what do you do? You do fuck all. You didn't. You didn't make a harsh tackle, a rash tackle, where you're going to get sent off. You you trust you keep it a mark the save, and if not, then you're still on the pitch. It's still eleven v eleven. You know, Doyle and all, he wound me up, kept bringing the ball out at the back and losing it all the time. You know, I know he's so young and he's, he's, um, he's just trying to progress at this stage in his career in League One and he will be a future star, I have no doubt. But today it was just one of them games where no one, no one could come away with any credibility. They were just all losing possession. Pritchard was just non-existent in the game. At half time, I was saying to myself, we need to see more of Pritchard, the more the little one-two passes, they're getting behind, and we just didn't see much of him. Even Ross Stewart got his penalty saved, you know what I mean? He put the rebound in. But for me, no, it was just one of them games. Hopefully, it was just one of them games, and the lads can bounce back against Accrington Stanley on Saturday. But... Quickly touching upon the Chris Maguire thing, I didn't blame him for running up to Lee Johnson and celebrating in front of him simply because when when we had him in our, our uh, club, he was one. Of, he was sort of a fan favourite, and um, Lee Johnson just would not play him. Would not play him. Even Sunderland supporters were questioning why is he not playing one of our best players when things weren't going right for us, and he wouldn't play him. So I didn't blame him. Max Power done it. Everyone thought it was class when Max Power done it. So. 
you know, I, I didn't, I didn't care that he did dig it. I, did, I, I wouldn't have cared if he didn't dig it. No, I, like I just didn't give a shite either way. But I didn't blame him for digging it. And the two goals we scored after that, he didn't celebrate. And but there's some tackles in there. He shouldn't have even been on the pitch. He shouldn't even have been on the pitch. So you know, I, Chris McGuire thing. It was just always going up and on it. It was written in the stars basically for him to come and put in a good performance. But to get a fat Rick, Jesus, oh man, what an absolute terrible performance to put in. Absolute piss poor. They need to seriously improve against Accrington. Oh, it's going to be another one of them. Accrington did have already beat Rotherham this season in recent times as well. They've already, you know, put in a good performance and beat them one out. So Sunderland didn't just expect to go now and beat these because it'll not happen. Simple as that. We've got to turn up and put in a good performance like we did against Sheffield Wednesday. Unless you know we will get beat off them as well. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Obviously, it wasn't the best because it was a dull, boring game. And, on, and anyway, before the goals. But in anyway, thanks for tuning in. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. Hit the thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.